The film Black Swan follows Nina, who is a ballerina in a New York City ballet company. She lives with her obsessive mother, who still has a lot of control over her. But what truly has the most control over her is her work. This shows when a director, Thomas, decides to recast for Swan Lake. Nina is his first choice. But Nina has competition. A new dancer, Lily, who impresses Thomas as well. As the two young dancers expand the rivalry into a twisted friendship, Nina begins to get more in touch with her dark side, which leads to a horrible transformation into the Black Swan. Many of the film's scenes can be explained by understanding that Nina is suffering from a mental condition known as schizophrenia. Without treatment, it can result in hallucinations and paranoid delusions. This explains the many hallucinations we see and the intense paranoia she feels during the film. Her mental state is further worsened by the stress put on her by both her mother, her dance director, and herself. She desires to be perfect, and this intense desire is slowly eating away at her fragile mental state and her physical state as the deep scratches on her shoulder get worse. Towards the end of the film, there is a sharp rise in Nina's hallucinations. These start small in the beginning of the movie, but on the opening night of Black Swan, her paranoia and hallucinations rise to an all-time high. This is due to her obsession with being able to pull off the role of Black Swan. After we see a hallucination of her killing Lily, she takes the stage and hallucinates herself fully transforming into the Black Swan. The film ends with her dying on the mattress she dove on at the end of the performance. Her obsession with perfection came at the price of her life. If we dig deeper into the film's narrative, we can see that the film is not only about the desire to become perfect, it's also a story about a girl finally transitioning to womanhood. Throughout the film, we are told that Nina has mastered the white swan part of the role. This is because to her, the role comes naturally. The white swan is pure, fragile, innocent. It symbolizes the child side of Nina. She's the white swan. She's still figuratively a child. Her desire to master the black swan part of the role can be viewed as her desire to grow up. This role is wild and the opposite of the white swan. She's unable to master this part of the role as she's still a child and the black swan is a woman. Throughout the movie, Nina develops into the black swan. This process is slow and painful and in the end, she achieves her goal, although it does cost her her life. Do you agree with my explanation of Black Swan? Comment down below if you do or don't. Also, what are your thoughts on Black Swan? And what films would you like me to explain next?